in this segment we are going to digress on the formula of rate of return so when we have to calculate the formula when we have to calculate the value of rate of return we need three things the first one is the coupon rate the second one is the current price of a of the bond or the financial instrument for which the rate of return is to be calculated and the third and the last thing is the initial price at which the bond has been sold or purchased in the beginning of the time period for which the analysis is being done so if we look at the formula it will be given as a capital r where capital r stands for the return or the rate of the return and for the coupon rate or the interest rate which is going to be earned using that on that particular financial instrument i have used capital c and for the current price um the symbol which i have used is pt plus 1 so t plus 1 means that if the initial price is taken up as pt with a t subscript then the price of that instrument after a certain time period which can be a year or two years or six months whatever the time period is being analyzed is in a certain situation that would be considered as t plus 1 so all you we need to do is we are going to take into account the coupon rate or the interest rate and we are going to add it to the difference between the current price and the initial price and we are going to subtract this particular thing by the initial price to get the value of the return on a certain financial instrument and if we deliberate on this if we analyze the components of the formula we can break it into two parts we can split this formula into two parts if i take the c divided by pt on one side and i separate pt plus 1 minus pt divided by pt i can state that the return formula is a combination is a sum of two different concepts the first one is given as the current yield for which the symbol ic has been used and that is equal to c over the initial price which is pt so that would give us the value of the current yield and then the next part of the return formula which is pt plus 1 minus pt divided by pt gives you the capital gain and that has been abbreviated as small g so simply we can write down the return formula in terms of the current yield and the capital gain as ic plus g and that is a simpler way of having a better understanding of what the rate of return is so it is basically a combination of the current yield and the capital gain so if somebody if there is a financial institution or there is a company who want to increase their rate of return or they want to work on enhancing the values of the expected rate of return if they know the components it becomes easy for them to work upon the different factors that are added up to gather to get the value of rate of return